Week five, ladies and gentlemen. Derek's here with me. Hi. This is gonna be fun because it looks like we're talking to somebody, but we're not. <laughs> Pause button. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. First, we got Natalie and Bronson, Big Bear. What do you think about these teams? Um, you know what? On paper, they look good, just like my lines, but they seem to shit the bed every single week. Mm -hmm. How does this happen? I mean, first thing I mean, what I gotta start with here is Natalie, you have to change your name. There's nothing more frustrating than a team owner that is not, that keeps the, the team last name. That's just, that's annoying to me. And we'll get to you, Randy. Yeah. Sooner or later. Yeah, eventually we'll get to that. <laughs> if you do not change, I've made threats before, but if you do not change your name before the start of this Sunday's games, I'm gonna change it for you. You're not gonna like it. You won't like it. I've <laughs> seen the names, they're pretty brutal. I mean, she's got a, you know, a good lineup. Calvin Johnson's on there, just, he wasn't playing this week. I mean, you could easily study that and see that he was going to have limited play. I mean, which is homework? It's understandable because even if Calvin Johnson has a 99% chance of not starting, you still want to start him because that 1% he's going to help you out. But this week he just signed. Like, and this week it didn't happen. That just didn't happen this week. Just Trent Richardson, credit, I mean, you don't really have that. I mean, your receiving core, great. We're still, I'm gonna go straight to that bench again, where you picked up Doug Martin, my drop, for $25, and he's still on your bench. Granny's still not doing anything, but you don't pick up something for $25 and not play him. That's just, again, I'm not a big fancy guru, but I would not pick up something for $25 and let him ride my bench. Right. Hopefully that $25 will come to haunt you. That's all I'm saying. Trent Richardson. Yeah. And two defenses. Get rid of one. You never need more than one, ever. Yeah, congratulations, Big Bear. Yeah, I mean it was a, it was a it was a all around did all right. I don't know. I think it's a, it's a pretty good looking team. I mean it's a good looking team, not a huge threat I would say if I'm playing. But in your face, I beat you last week, sucker. <laughs> in your face, but in your face, I beat you last week, sucker. <laughs> there it is. Ninety four points. It's a good I mean it's a good stop number, but you're gonna need more when you want to get. Matthew's putting up almost 200 points mm -hmm. every week. We'll get there. Tony's team, man, he's, he's, he's doing stuff. He's killing it. He's doing stuff. I'm. This is a big threat to me. I mean, 4-1 and one does not lie. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came off the what that loss was in week one. Mm -hmm. The second week wasn't a big win, but I mean, it's just, he's put up numbers now. He's got strong running backs. It's Phillip Rivers, man. Two words, Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers. He's got Matt Ryan backing him up, too. Yeah. That's that's a big threat there. Your QBs, and then Josh Gordon. At my other league, I picked up Josh Gordon. I think it's going to be a huge threat next week 10. So, still got to wait five more weeks, but this is a keeper league. You're going to be able to take Josh Gordon in the last round because you got him off the waiver wire. So, yeah. that's a really good pickup. Now, Randy. Taco. Are you even <laughs> playing, like, your name? He said his lineup. He said his lineup. He said to Mark Murray. Yeah, you, you, you set your lineup, but you put the number two running back on the bench. I don't, I don't think he does call me and ask about, you know, my, you know, kind of questions and stuff. But I don't, I don't think you're grasping. Next, Brandon, suck it, <laughs> suck it, <laughs> suck it. Your team sucks. You need a new team. I just. It's fact. Yeah. It's fact. I, I came don't... into those weeks <laughs> saying this is a win in the bag, and it, it sure was. Man, I don't. I mean, I don't know how to do so talking too much shit. Like, <laughs> McCoy was great last year, but a little bit of research where I told you him and Sproles are doing a 50-50 split. Mm. Like they said that before we drafted. I mean, it was there. Everybody said it. Little icing on the cake for you though, LaShawn McCoy took himself out of the game in the third quarter, Reggie Bush got injured early in the third quarter, so that hurts, but they haven't really produced thus far this year. Big question for Brandon, since we are, this league we're doing, the last place team gets first pick next year, when do you give up? <laughs> My team, I mean what can I say, they look awesome, Matthew Stafford, he's a top five quarterback, year in and year out. How many more weeks does he have to outscore Stafford before you start him? Um, well, he didn't have, well, he did outscore him this Yeah. Week. Next! All right. This was a barn burner. This was a barn burner. <sighs> uh, this is like, I don't know, like, if this keeps happening, like, Matthew's Super Bowl. Like, it's, 
I don't want to say it. Like it's it's gonna be Mackie and somebody else. <clears throat> like that's unless injuries. The only thing can save us. Your two teams combined for combined number of three hundred and thirty six points. That's fucking insane. This is the worst loss too. This is I'd rather lose by a million, but to be the second top scorer and to like the second top scorer beyond. Yeah. And lose. That's what sucks. All right, let's do the rundown. Okay, Stephen. Basically, Demarius Thomas, you have him to thank for your high score. 52 points. I think that's the most points anybody's scored a single player so far this year. Adam, you've got... Just a low round of team. Three guys, 22, 24, 24 points. I was actually really upset about this. Andre Ellington, I drafted him. And you dropped him? I dropped him because he was he's riddled with injuries. They, I mean, he's probable every week. Every single week he's probable. He scored the first... Four weeks, he scored a cumulative of maybe not even over 10, 11, 10, and then this, five weeks. <laughs> this game, he, he scored more points this week than he did all of the weeks combined. Uh, it's so frustrating. I was, I was actually upset the other night. I was very <laughs> upset. I was actually literally, like, in my room, just like, this, is, this sucks. He was sobbing, and it was sad. Next! Right. I'm gonna flat out say it. Nobody, this is the worst way to lose when. This is this is week two, me versus you. Mm -hmm. I had didn't have to be covered with thirty points, thirty two points. Mm -hmm. Just like you had. Like Darren Sproles. Darren covered, Sproles. no problem. I haven't covered. Finn had me covered, no problem. Russell Wilson sets a record rushing yards, <laughs> throws two touchdown passes, and he runs one runs one in. Yeah. Like I needed thirty five points, unheard of. He gets me thirty seven. Puts the icing on the cake with two extra points. I should have won anyways. Look at Finn, he's starting three Giants players. Three. Ray Robinson did a little bit for you, but Pink Man throwing, of course, doing the Pink Man throwing 41 points. And then 25 for Brian Quick. And Finn, how much does that hurt starting Rashad Jennings over Arian Foster? I will give that to him a little bit. Foster was, like, probably going into the game. They said he probably was going to play minutes into the game. Like, everybody, he was on everybody's bench that week. This week, so... Zach Stacy's not doing much this year either. I mean, you I mean, you got some work to do. You finally dropped both your defenses. <laughs> you got a decent squad here, but your bench was pretty solid this week. It's just bad luck. You should have. I do it week in and week out. Start one guy when I should have started the other. So, congratulations, asshole. Mmm, I love it. Anything else to add? Roll credits. Yes, I'm gonna edit so it's a calm and familiar. Then we figure out.